What's up? Welcome to the channel. It is great to see you here. Hope you're all healthy out there. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to fix transitions that just won't work. Sometimes you try to add a transition between your clips and it just won't work. You can't drop it on there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But hey, if you're new here, my name's Jade Lowski, and on this channel, we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, some photography, a little Photoshop, Lightroom, and even some gear stuff. Everybody loves gear stuff, right? So let's jump into the video. So there's a lot of people who've reached out to me lately that are saying, hey, I'm trying to add transitions between my clips or at my cuts, and it won't work. I can't drop the transition on. It's not working. There's something wrong with it. So we're going to jump over to DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you exactly why you're having that problem and how easy it is to fix. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to fix it. All right. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and here's the problem that people have been having and been asking questions about. I grab a transition. I go to drop it on my clips and nothing happens. I can't add the transition to my clips. Why can't I add the transition? So DaVinci Resolve needs a few frames past the beginning or the end of the transition in order to make the transition work. So if I pull this clip up, you'll see if I try to make it a little bit longer to the left here, I can't because I'm at the very beginning of the clip. And same with this clip, I'm at the very end of the clip. I can't change it. So when you're at the beginning or the end of the clip, DaVinci Resolve doesn't have enough information to be able to create the transition. So how do we fix this so that we can use transitions between our clips? Basically, all you need to do is reduce your clip length by a few frames. There are six frames there. If I click here and drag it back another six frames and I put them back together, I'm going to drag a transition on top and now I can drop my transition on there. Now, if I only did, for example, here six frames, I can't make my transition too long, but let's say I made it even shorter. We'll come back 14 frames and 14 on that side, put them together drag my transition on, and now my transition can be longer because there's more information at the end of this clip and at the beginning of this clip for DaVinci Resolve to use to create the transition. So now if we play our clips, you'll see the transition works just fine. Another problem that people run into is they take their transition and they go to drop it between their clips, but it only falls on one side of your cut. So why does that happen? That happens because one of my clips has enough information after it to create the transition, but the other one doesn't. For example, if I bring this one up, you see we do have frames of footage past where my cut is. But if I look at this one right here, we're at the very beginning of that clip. So DaVinci Resolve doesn't have enough information to create the transition between the two sides. So how do we fix that? Well, we can just take the one side and drag it back, put them together, and then we can drop our transition on there. So that works. Or you can just click your clip that you know has the frames you need in it and push it into the next one a little bit. Then I should be able to grab my transition, drop it on there, and you're good to go. You've got your transition between your clips right at your cut. So if you want to automate this process a little bit and have DaVinci Resolve do some of the work for you, you can select both your clips and press Command or Control T. And that's going to bring up this window that says Add Transitions. So some of the clips we selected have insufficient handles to apply the transition. So we don't have enough information past our beginning and end points of those clips. So you can choose to trim your clips and shorten your timeline, or you can skip over them and do nothing here. So let's say trim clips. So now DaVinci Resolve has gone ahead, shortened the clips where they need to be, and has thrown a crossfade transition on there. The only issue with doing it this way is that not only does it add it to where your cuts are, it also adds it to the end of your clips if your clips stop, like mine do right here. It's still going to throw a transition on the end, and it's easy enough just to delete that, but that's the only downside to using that method to add the transitions and adjust your clips. So that's the key here. Make sure you've got a few frames after the end of your clip or before the beginning of your clip so that DaVinci Resolve has some information to use to create the transitions. So if this video was helpful for you, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're still having any problems, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to help you out. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.